who has stuff in Macarbo's channel. Today's video is about wiring the aftermarket HID projector headlights to the OEM harness of the Beetle. If you watched the previous video, you learn how to make the bracket that's going to hold the light in place. Another thing that I made, I welded a tab to bolt the ballast right above the headlight. So everything is going to be easy to get to and it's going to be easy to install and remove if needed. So if any of these components ever fail, uh, it's going to be easy to replace them without tearing the whole vehicle apart. So with that said, let's get started and see how these lights look. The only extra modification that was made was a C-notch right here to clear the third bolt that fastens the light to the bracket. Alright, so my bracket slides in from the front and it goes in very easy just like if it was made for it because it was made for it. It's custom made. To hold it in place I'm using the stock screws that were holding the old bracket making it that simple to install too. So my custom bracket is held by this bolt right here and another one right over here so they're going they're attached to the body so it's not going to move right now they're loose I'm going to tighten them up and the ballast is right on top okay so the bracket is bolted and tight now the light goes in easily goes. and now you can see why there was a need to do a C-notch right there the light's going to be held in place by these bolts It's tight. Okay, so that one's tight. It's tight, and this one's tight. Perfect. This light is not going anywhere. That thing is on. So, great job on that one. Alright, so I already mentioned that these lights did not come with any instructions whatsoever. So here's the harness, you know, the ballast I already said, I mounted it up there, and most of it is plug and play, so I'm going to guide you through the steps of plugging these items. These two wires, they go together, the black one and the blue one that goes to the ballast, then the two red ones plug to each other right there next step you know just by looking at the connectors it's easy to identify that these two right here plug together this right here is for the halos and this connector right here is the one that's going to connect to this one right here and this is going to have to be connected the parking lights is what's going to power the red wire and obviously the black one is going to be a ground but that way when the parking lights are turned on the halos right here are, the green halos are going to come on that's what this is all about and then the ground wire I'm going to use the OEM fastener right there I grounded the paint off right here so you can actually get a good ground and it's going to be connected To wire the halos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these right here so I don't have to damage the harness that goes to the parking lights. This is going to crimp over the wires that power the parking lights. Both the one is going to be the power, obviously, and then the other one's going to be the ground. Alright, so this is how it looks. You know, this is going to slide from behind, and now I just got to crimp those 
over the wires that go to the parking lines. So what I did, I used the circuit tester to find out which wire was the power wire when turning the parking lights on. In this beetle, it turns out to be the gray one, looks like gray with a red stripe, and then the orange one ended up being the ground, and the green with the, and the black with the green stripe is the turn signal for the passenger side front. So I hooked it up and I put some uh, tape on it to avoid any moisture getting on it and or corroding. I did put the insulation back on and the clip back on also so it doesn't come off. Okay, so it's on. This is gonna go up through that opening right there. Alright, so it's connected right there. Alright, let's turn the parking lights on. Okay, parking lights are on. Alright. And that is how cool the car looks with its halos. Gives it this mean look. Alright, so we're gonna get closer. This is an up close look right there. That's awesome. This does not look like a beetle. And that is exactly the whole idea. Transform this car into an entire different look. When I was testing these lights outside the vehicle, I was applying low voltage to find out which wire was which. So this is going to be for the actual headlight. The white wire is the low beam and the blue wire is the high beam. So now I just need to figure out which one of these is the high and low beam from these wires. So I have the key on right now and I have the low beams on. So now it's time to use the circuit tester and see which one is which. Now a little bit of a pain to hold it and with one hand and aim with the camera but it looks like the yellow is going to be the low beam there. So the wire wire is the high beam. Now here's another cool thing about this car. When the high beams are on, so are the low beams. So this is going to allow bright lights because the high and the low beams are going to be on when we turn the HIDs high lights on, on the aftermarket lights. So that's going to give us great visibility. So it's time to hook them up that in this and the OEM harness the Y is the high beam which is going to go to the blue wire which is the high beam on the aftermarket lights the uh, yellow wire is the low beam on the car but the white wire was the low beam on the aftermarket lights now I do not need to hook the ground because the ground has already been attached to this so we're going to leave the ground alone we're just going to use the yellow and the white wire now for this one, this type of connector, they're going to slide over the aftermarket HID lights and then this is going to connect to this wire. So I'm going to cut this plug off. It's not going to be needed. And this is uh, heat shrink tubing, so I'm going to heat it up once it's all connected so it's going to make nice and tight connection with the wire. Alright, good butt plug. Now this I'm going to cut it shorter because I'm not going to need it and then I'm just going to tape it. I already said I don't need the ground. I just need these two right here. Alright, so I heated the heat shrink tubing with the lighter. That's nice and tight now. Okay, so we said the yellow was the low beam, which uh, is the white one for the aftermarket lights. So there they are, plugged in. 
Now we'll insulate this connection with electrical tape uh, just to keep it moisture free and keep the dirt out of it too. Last thing, the ballast needs to have power. So this is going to be a constant 12 volt and it has its own fuse right here. So if anything happens to the light, it'll blow the fuse. So in this B-Dub, because it has this power distribution box, I'm going to be hooking these lights to one of these to power the ballast for the HID lights. Make sure it's snug. And obviously I'll make sure that I run this wire neatly. Right now this is just to test the light. So it's just loose right now. Put my negative back on. I had it disconnected while I was hooking the wire obviously. And this is how blind and bright they are. There it is up close from the side. It's a good angle right here. Looks way really cool. Just like that. Uh, this is the last shot at the halo by itself. The green halo. This Super cool lights. So there you have it. That's the kind of work that it takes to mount these lights on a BW Beetle and give it a custom look. If you want to see how this car turns out, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you'll know when the new videos come up. In the meantime, make sure you visit our online store. We have a great selection of accessories, cars, trucks, and SUVs. See you next time.